Um, I believe we had a very interesting discussion about, fascinating discussion about the um, different topics around ethics and, and responsible AI. We touched upon the role of regulation and self-regulation, of how each of your companies or organizations is, is seeing this thing, the role of Gen AI and so on and so forth. I still believe that we are lacking the region because of the slight delay we have if we compare ourselves to the US or to Europe which gives us the time to adapt more rapidly and more efficiently than what's happening right now in other places of the world. So I think it's important to understand the decision-making of AI and shed some lights on the on transparency of the AI and understanding why AI is taking certain decisions. Maybe look at the interpretation and causation of the AI models, and uh, which will help both in terms of the regulators and business adoption. At Karim, I think one of our big focus area is, of course, application. Application is primary, both internally, as we think about pair programming, as we think about developer efficiency, and then externally, more customer facing, as we think about commerce, search and discovery, and lastly, fraud, and that's been highlighted in the room today. To achieve the full potential of uh, responsible AI or ethical AI, governments, society, and industry have to actually get together to define a proper framework as well as policies to drive innovation in uh, the proper actually direction to get the best out of um, uh, this technology that we have today. The ethical dilemmas that we're facing are probably the, the most 360 ethical dilemmas we're, we've faced ever in history because we are combining all the st possible stakeholders and the speed that is happening. So. Probably we are facing one of the key moments on, in terms of responsibility that, that most people around from regulators to customers uh, have ever faced and we need to be conscious of that. So on the other hand, uh, talking about the concern of uh, losing job be, uh, because of using AI, I think it's very important in this uh, time to upscale and rescale the employee uh, uh, training by giving them training and online training is there. So when it comes to responsible AI, I think one of the key topics that we tend to overlook in this part of the world at least is job replacement, um, which kind of brings this additional responsibility on us to really take into account as we scale AI and generative AI. And in a way with the, with the recent wave of generative AI, it's kind of we almost democratize the, the or kind of even crowdsourced the, the, the job repl replacement in the past. It used to be a corporate or a national decision when you want to replace, you know, a big wave of, uh, of jobs with, with AI. Now each of us has the power to go and choose whether they actually use someone for a job or replace them for the convenience with, with just um, generative AI. So certainly something to think about. Building on the same thread with, with uh, job replacement and, and, and the fears that have come with the onset of the new era of uh, AI that we're in. I mean, AI is not new, but we've kind of entered a new page with it with the uh, advent of um, uh, Gen AI. Uh, it, it's important, you know, for a lot of us who are sitting at the table as, as uh, you know, executive technology leaders to, to help humanize and, and interpret, actually, not, not just really interpret what it means, what, what this era means uh, for our business. Um, how it could align with our strategic objectives. Uh, and then emphasize back to the job things that, you know, what, what tasks are we ready to let go of so we can do better things, so we can evolve our skill set overall, evolve our, our workforce and, and upskill, as, as my colleagues have mentioned as well. So the dilemma between uh, AR regulations, data privacy and responsible AI becoming more essential to build more robust and personalized data products. And in my opinion, in order to tackle this uh, next problem, we should use also generative AI, just like to have better understanding, like how kind of policies we can generate and also causal AI. I think the combination of all these two systems, tools, services can improve the way how we're thinking and to build better practices, guidelines and policies. Our workplaces already become uh, AI tools assisted. In my view, the acceleration in this direction will be there. We'll see more versions of 
different AI tools in our lives, um, in personal lives and in the work space. Um, and we are a little away from the AI-driven companies and AI-driven economy or AI-driven uh, in many spaces. But we are moving in that direction and it's a very welcome uh, move. The good part is that we are understanding it better and there is a lot of effort that is being spent from all aspects, whether it's regulatory or learning, personal learning as well as the corporate learning uh, in this space. Uh, in my view, it's a very interesting time ahead for all of us.